Hello YouTube, Philip 20 here today and what we've got here is a uh, it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood nice and solid piece of wood it's not you know beautiful but what I've done is I drilled two half inch holes inside of it and what I'm going to use is these toggle bolts to go through the concrete wall this will just go through the hole and then on the other side of the wall the plastic adapters will allow me to straighten it out like so so once I get it installed on the other side of the wall I'll just straighten it out then I'll put my I'll zip this piece will zip all the way down and then I can break off these tabs and put our bolts directly in through this whole thing except it'll be about that thick because the concrete on the other side but this is just the beginning of uh, mounting our equipment on the wall and the reason why I'm doing this is because the equipment's heavy so I want to bolt it to the wall I'll be able to uh, put two screws here and here that's for the bottom part of the shelf and then here and here and then I'll uh, also bolt the uh, inverter on the top and I'll have uh, some backing that allows uh, the back of the panel to stay cooler, which is pretty cool. Let's get to uh, drilling our holes through the wall with the hammer drill. This one's going to be a problem, so I'm going to have to move it over some. I'll probably move it to right here. I'll fill this in with uh, mortar and then we'll be done with that. No big deal. Or I'll use foam maybe. Okay, so now we've got this mounted on the wall and we're just going to take a closer look at how it fits up. Oh, that looks amazing. So since we got it fitted up and we're going to put two screws on the bottom, two screws on the top, what I'll do is I'll put them on the bottom first. And that way the weight of the machine is resting on the lower screws because there's nothing being held up currently by this it's just the board so we can add weight to this and then when we get it uh, ready we'll put the top screws in Now we got, currently got our mounting of this panel mounted, but I'm going to put additional screws throughout this entire cabinet just because I want to make sure that we have enough strength to hold up that inverter because the inverter is about 60 pounds, this is about 50 pounds and both of them together is pretty heavy for just a few screws so what I'll do is I'll put probably I'll probably put a hole here another hole here and then a few holes here and a few holes here I like to have the weight distributed on the bottom and held up you know, on the top that way a lot of weight can be put on this and not fall down Hello, thank you for watching this video. You've got to see the mounting of this bracket and panel, the breaker panel itself. 
and I, I'm really excited to move forward. I've got more videos coming. I'm going to have them keep coming out. So if you want to follow along, I'll have a link in this video for the next video. This is Phil 20 with Solar Power Electricity and Electronics, and I'm a holler at y'all later.